topic of my sermon today is wise men still follow the star. Wise men still follow the bright and morning star, which is Jesus. He is that star. If you go to Revelations 22 and 16, it says, I, Jesus, have sent my angels to testify to you about these things. For the churches, I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright and morning star. And we are the wise men who follow Christ, for the unlearned do not understand the gospel. It is foolishness to them. If you look in 1 Corinthians 1 and 18, it says, For the word of the cross is folly to those who perish, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. It is foolishness to those who don't get it. They, they, they don't understand it. Uh, the Bible also says that if the gospel be hidden, it is hidden to those who are lost. Let us not be one of the lost, for we are wise. We fully understand the gospel. People keep talking about uh, Jesus is not the way, the only way, and, and yet they keep talking about a, a heaven. I'm like, well, what heaven are you talking about and what God made it? If, if, the, and, and if that God that made it doesn't have a son named Jesus, well, we ain't talking about the same thing anyway. So don't be mad at me because I say Jesus is the only way and you think there's some other way. You can't do anything to get there. So Jesus, uh, his father made it easy for us just to believe on him. We fully understand the gospel. For every Sunday, we seek out the born king, also bearing our finest gift. Every Sunday, amen, we seek out the born king. We worship and praise him when we come in. Amen. As the wise men came, it says, now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. When we come, we come to worship him. When we come, we come to give gifts. We are bearing tithes and offerings to him. We give our time by working hard for him. Is anybody else working hard? If nobody works hard for him, you ought to work hard for him. Bear some gifts to God. Don't just come and do nothing. Come and, and worship him and bring tithes, bring gold and, and frankincense and myrrh. Bring something to the Lord. Come all ye faithful. Every Sunday we celebrate Christmas. Amen. We don't have to wait once a year. Every Sunday we come in here celebrating Christmas. But what is celebrating Christmas? Christmas is celebrating the birth of Christ, that he came, that his, his father sent him. This is a celebration. And so we tell others and then we all come together and we worship and we celebrate together. The coming of the Lord, the tradition that we run into, that the three wise men arose from the fact that the Bible mentioned three gifts. And so we come up with three wise men because it's possible there, there might have been more than just three of them. Yeah, they, it, we have the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh, uh, according to Matthews 2.11. However, the Bible doesn't say how many wise men made the journey. They said, we saw his star. Where is he? When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all of Jerusalem with him. The people were troubled. I always wonder, I can understand Herod was troubled, but why were the people troubled? I could imagine that the people were troubled because they had seen what the, their paranoid king had done when he felt his throne was threatened. He did murder his sons. He was afraid of their secret plots uh, uh, to, to become king. So he killed them. And, and the people were wondering, what is Herod going to do now? There's a child being born that's threatening his kingdom. What is he going to do? 
So they were afraid too. And so Herod assembled all the chief priests and the scribes of the people. He required of them where the Christ was to be born. Five, uh, it said they told him where he would be born in Bethlehem. Seven, it says Herod summoned the wise men secretly and he asked them, when did you see this star? And Herod found out precisely based on them when the star appeared. And if you read later, it talks about how Herod began to slaughter those boys, the baby boys, anybody that was from two years old and under. Herod went after him. It says, and he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me the word that I, too, may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they left the king, they went outside and that same star that they seen a long time ago. Almost what? Two years ago appeared before them again. Now, whether it was a star or not, let's just say it was a light. (laughs) Jesus is the light. Let's follow the light. Follow the light. You want to know what you should be doing is you look in the word and then follow the light. The word will tell you exactly what you do. Stop thinking so much on yourself, but think about what you should be doing for the light uh, that's in you. The Bible said, let The light shine. Let your light shine that men might see it and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Don't let your bad work shine. Wise men are still following Christ. We are still following the star. Follow the star. Believe. Do the work of the ministry. Do the work that you see. Come on. I'm covered by